Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to the New Hope Missionary Baptist Church, located at 3005 East Ellicott Street, Tampa, Florida, 33610. Uh, this is our weekly Bible study, and um, just happy that you uh, are with us. Uh, know that you've had a blessed day because you're still among uh, uh, the living. God uh, still has something for you to do. Uh, in uh, his kingdom, if you are a believer and if you've never accepted Christ as your Savior, uh, God is waiting with open arms and saying, come, come, come. He's saying that all I require of you is that you believe in uh, Jesus the Christ, that you believe uh, that he is the Son of God, that he uh, did die for your sins, that he was buried, uh, uh, that God did raise him from the dead. And the Bible says, if you, on that confession, on um, that belief, you would, you are, you will be saved. And so uh, we pray that something tonight, if you haven't been saved, will arrest your attention to seek out and ask God to forgive you of your sins and accept Jesus as Savior. Uh, and we've been, we're going to continue our study uh, uh, in Matthew chapter six, Matthew chapter six uh, tonight. Um. And um, we finished up uh, verse 1 uh, last, last week. We finished up uh, verse 1 last week. Uh, and so uh, we're going to get into to, uh, verse 2 uh, tonight um, uh, after a word of prayer and then um, see what God has to say. Father, thank you for this time together. Thank you for bringing us together and God, we pray now that you would just uh, clean us up, forgive us our sins, open our hearts and minds to the truth of the text. God, and we pray uh, that uh, you just uh, guide us tonight, uh, that we see ourselves in the text. And that once we see ourselves, and if we need correction, oh, Heavenly Father, we know you will help us by your Holy Spirit. Thank you now in expectation. In Jesus' name we pray, a amen. So. We finished up uh, chapter, I meant verse 1 uh, last week, uh, Ma, uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. We really uh, broke it into two sessions uh, where Jesus says, uh, Take heed that you do not your arms um, before uh, men to be seen of them. Uh, otherwise, you have, your, you have no reward from uh, your Father, which is in, in heaven. Uh, and you know, we, we, we uh, just in a quick summary, uh, Jesus is telling us to be on guard. We got to be on guard. We got to we got to we got to be aware. We got to think constantly uh, about uh, 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 our own motivation, our own heart. Because if it's about us, if it's about being seen, uh, uh, there's no reward from God in that. Um, uh, as I said last week, even if our uh, deed, our deed may help the person it's intended to help, but if I did it. Uh, uh, simply because I wanted to get the accolades, if I wanted to uh, get the pat on the back, there's no reward from God for me and for you in, in, in that good deed, even though it did help someone. And that's a good thing, but we want the fullness of our experience with God. We want to experience the fullness of it. And, if, and, and we said as, as we got ready to close last week, if God is not the end motivation of what we do, then there's no reward from him. Uh, and when I say the end motivation, it is to his glory. And we ended last week by, by having some self-talk to ourselves, that, that we must continually talk to ourselves that I'm doing this. What I'm doing, I'm doing it for the glory of God and not for self. Uh, and so uh, we're going to uh, go into the verse 2 tonight. From, from that uh, found foundation, knowing that it is it's in, it's, it, God is the estimator. God, it is in God's estimation uh, 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 as to uh, um, what we're doing. Because remember, he sees our heart. Doesn't miss anything. Never misses a beat. God does not miss anything. And so that's our security. That's our security. I don't have to be worried. I don't have to worry about whether or not anybody ever sees it, whether uh, the newspaper show up. I don't have to worry about any of that. 
because if nobody ever knows it, as long as God knows it and I know he sees everything, he does not forget anything, then I'm secure in knowing that I'm fine, I'm great. In fact, that's the fullness of joy. If you really want to be satisfied, uh, 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 there's no greater satisfaction. There's no satis greater satisfaction of helping somebody in the right attitude knowing that God got the glory. All right? So let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 2. Uh, and, and I like what Jesus does. Uh, some may say, oh, that's kind of redundant. Oh, it's not redundant. Jesus is trying to help us. Matthew chapter 6, verse 2 says, <clears throat> Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues, and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. All right. Therefore, therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Now, just like last week I, I emphasized don't skip over otherwise in verse 1. Don't skip over therefore uh, in verse 2. Because what the word therefore, when Jesus uses this word therefore, it serves to further heighten the importance of his opening words. And his opening words in verse 6, in, in chapter 6, verse 1, uh, two words, take heed. So now he, this, this, he says, therefore, it heightens this importance of, 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 of um, being aware, beware of uh, thinking constantly, being on guard. Uh, because what Jesus now does, he provides some uh, a particular illustrations, particular illustrations to emphasize or press the point he's already made in verse 1. Now, we talked about arms. We, tell you, say, let, we talked about arms. Now, remember that overarching uh, idea is uh, do not practice your acts of righteousness to be seen. And now he's using uh, these specific examples. The first one uh, is arms. Now, uh, 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 arms giving. If, if you haven't caught up with us from, from verse 1, almsgiving uh, is mercy in general. In general, it's, it's mercy. You have a mercy on somebody who is in need. You're showing a mercy to somebody who's poor, who's somebody who needs something, whether that be financial, spiritually, whatever um, they are lacking. It is showing, it is mercy in general. And so when he says, when Jesus says, uh, uh, therefore, when thou doest thine alms, uh, 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 that is uh, the action of it, all right? So, it's, so, so thus giving alms, here is the deal, giving alms or doing alms was a common method in Jesus' day of showing mercy of any kind. Financially, again, whatever the person may be lacking, uh, um, one would step in, all right? Showing mercy. Uh, uh, again, alms, giving alms, helping the poor. And, and, and it was really important. They, they really did look at it as, as important, and they really did it. But remember we said that it's not a list of rules we're looking at in this, and in, in, in Jesus is teaching here. It is an attitude. Uh, um, but 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 the, they took it so seriously. Some people actually felt like, mistakenly felt like, uh, uh, practicing or uh, doing or uh, giving of alms could actually save you. But nothing can save you but the blood of Jesus. Nothing will save you but believing uh, in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, um, uh, but they mistakenly thought. Uh, uh, and, and, and of course, that there, this is before Jesus goes to the cross. But those who had faith in Him, 
those who have faith in him, even if they died, God has made a way because of their faith that they may be saved. Now, this alms, uh, thine alms, this alms giving, our English word charity, 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 it carries a, a similar thought uh, 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 as alms giving, charity, charity, charity. So here's what Jesus says. Jesus says, when you exercise or do charity by, by performing acts of mercy, when you exercise charity by performing acts of mercy, do not be your own trumpeter. Now, a lot of debate um, in some circles whether Jesus is talking about uh, 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 there's some who said, well, the, the Pharisees and the scribes, uh, they would have someone blowing a trumpet um, before uh, them as they would arrive uh, to uh, do their alms or to give uh, uh, in terms of alms giving. Um, there's some who uh, talked about uh, maybe a tradition of uh, making sure that that the coins hit uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the offering bucket to be heard. Uh, but there's really no evidence of either of those. The, 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 the fact of what Jesus is saying, he says, don't, <laughs> excuse me, when you exercise charity, when you do thine arms, don't be your own mouthpiece. Don't be the one announcing, guess what I'm about to do, uh, and, and, and guess what I have done. Don't be your own horn tutor, if I can put it, if that, if that makes any, any, any sense. When I was growing up, and I'm going to bring this up, uh, uh, I'm going to bring this up. I don't want to offend anyone because uh, I certainly don't discourage giving uh, 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 with the right attitude. There used to be a thing I used to notice. Um, so we'll say, well, we're going to start with $100. And nothing wrong with that. And such and such. But it became, in my humble opinion, in some respects at some time, it became a competition because and I watched this as a child. I would watch if one person did it, then they'd look around and somebody else feel. I feel like, well, I got to be seen and I got to do it. And, and, and then somebody may jump up and say, I'll top that. I, I'm going to put 500. Nothing wrong with the giving, but we have to be careful why we do what we do. Watch what Jesus says. He says, therefore, when thou doest thine arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee. Ah. Don't be your own trumpeter. Don't be your own announcer of what you are doing. Don't go around calling attention to your great acts of mercy, the things that you have done so that ye may have the glory of me. Don't do it. See, he's just, he's really just teasing out verse, verse 1. He's giving us some specific, uh, uh, specific illustration about our attitude. D -d -d Don't be your own horn tutor so that people will gaze 
at your parade and one with wonder and admiration. We can be our own, listen, we can be our own drum major, our own band, cheerleaders, majorettes, all in ourselves, our own little parade. And this parade is so that we may have the glory of men. Just He, he just told us, don't do it to be seen of them. All right? So he says, don't be your own trumpet. Uh, calling attention, always, always running around, talking about what, what, what you've done, what you can do, what I can do, what I did. Back in 55, I did this. Back in 66, I did this. I, I, yesterday, guess what I did? I did this great thing. Well, Jesus says, that's the wrong attitude to have if you're doing it for the glory of God. All right? No act of charity, no, 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 no work of charity is to be done in vanity. Watch how Jesus pegs people who fall into this category. Who, the people who what? Sound their own trumpet. So they might have the glory of men. Jesus says they are hypocrites. Hmm. Painful. He says they are hypocrites. You are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. If you pretend to be doing something for the glory of God, but in reality, you're doing it for yourself. You dress up in the church stuff. We walk around doing the church stuff. We pretend that we're doing it for the glory or to the glory of God. And we know we left home with the attitude that uh, they're going to know who I am today. Let that soak in. Hmm. Jesus says, if that's me, I'm a hypocrite. Persons who play a part in life. When I say play a part, I mean it's like that's my part in the play. I've been assigned my, my lines. And you know we can know our lines, whether, they're, whether they really are true or not. We know the lines. We know the things to say. We know how we're supposed to say them that sounds profound and that it sounds like I'm real real spiritual, people <clears throat> who play a part, that part in life, yet you, their actions do not truly reflect what's in the heart. Be who you are. <clears throat> if you're evil, you just got to, <laughs> let me go ahead and move off of that. Be, <clears throat> if, I, if I say that I am a child of God, and I'm doing it for the glory of God, then, then, then that ought to be who I am. But don't play the part, because Jesus says you're a hypocrite. Don't play the part if that's not really who you are. And watch this. The proof is, if you want to know, the proof, they prove themselves. The persons who are hypocrites, the text helps us, they prove themselves to be a hypocrite by sounding a trumpet, announcing what great things they have done 
And, and specifically here, Jesus is talking about almsgiving and helping others. You'll know them. You'll know them. Because they'll be their own trumpet. They will announce who they are. They will say they are somebody else. But the actions of the person, the sounding of the trumpet, always got to be blowing their own horn. And here again, we're talking about almsgiving and helping, but it, 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 applies to, it applies to all realms of service in, 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 in the service of God, in the building of his kingdom. Be careful. And, and, and God, we, again, we're not here to look around, wonder who they are, wonder who they are. They will announce themselves because they can't help but who be who they are. And they will announce themselves. They'll be their own trumpet. So Jesus is reinforcing if no one ever hears your, about your acts of mercy, the question is, oh, are you okay? Can, 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 can you, are you grounded enough in the fact that God gets the glory that I don't have to, if y'all don't say nothing, I am. Hmm. Y'all don't recognize me. I, I'll recognize myself. If you don't tell, if you don't, if you don't tell me how great I have been in, in, the, in, in God's house, and if you don't say it, I'll say it for you. Jesus makes plain that hypocrites, watch this, practice within the confines of the four walls of the church. I, that's what he says. He says, therefore, when thou doest thine arm, do not sound the trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogue. Synagogue is where the Jews went to worship. So that lets me know that uh, uh, being a hypocrite can actually happen within the four confines of the church. It's represented by the synagogue. But also outside of the four walls because he says, and in the streets. So obviously, obviously, Jesus is emphasizing, and we can't miss it, that the heart is the most important thing to God. Go to 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel, chapter 16. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look now not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as a man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord God looketh on the heart. Hmm. Can't make it no clearer than that. Go to Proverbs. Go to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 21. We're just about done for the night. Proverbs chapter, Proverbs chapter 21, uh, verse 2. It says, every way of a man is right in his own eye. But the Lord pondereth the hearts. Go to Luke chapter 16. Luke chapter 16, verse 15. Luke chapter 16, verse 15. Luke chapter 16, verse 15 says, And he said unto them, ye are they which justify yourselves before men. But God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Go to John chapter 12. John chapter 12. Verses 42 and 43. John chapter 12. Verses 42 
and 43. Verse 42 says, <clears throat> Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees, watch this, because of somebody else looking, they did not confess him lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. What's more important? Is, it the, is God more important or a man? If the intent of your heart uh, is to boast about your, the, your acts of mercy in order to get a reward, to garner applause from people, Jesus says, verily, verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. Jesus declares amen, amen, to introduce in a powerful way a faithful thought uh, that you need to listen to and clearly embrace. The applause of people, uh, the applause from people that a person seeks and gets in response to them bragging about what they have done, that's their full payment. No further reward can be expected of God. You got what you wanted. You wanted the applause of persons, not looking to glorify God. The reward then is earthly for those folks. It will fa fa fade away, but there's no reward in heaven, and the reward from heaven will last forever. What a tragedy to have nothing more to look forward to beyond the praise of humanity, which will fade away like, like exhaust fumes. You ever see them fumes come out of an exhaust pipe? You see them, and they fade away. The reality is that people who seek that, they've got what they saw, but they will realize an emptiness in this life, and if not in this life, in the life to come. Father, we thank you for helping us tonight. God, we, we thank you for your word. God, sometimes it's painful to, to hear it, but, oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for that pain because it arrests our attention if we need to correct something in our own lives. Thank you, God. We lift up the New Hope Church family to you. We lift up the body of Christ to you. We lift the sick and the shut in. Oh, God, we lift those who are in bereavement to you. Comfort, oh, God, according to your will. Until the next time, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Go in peace.